Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm going to be making some ATCs, also known as artist trading cards. I will be uh, using images from the book that I collabed with Keely O'Brien on. So here's our book right here. I'll have a link for it down in the description box down below. And I have some of the papers that we have in the back, which are great because you can use the front or you could use the solid colors on the back. Love that. And then I have some artist trading card bases. These are two and a half inches by three and a half. The only rules to artist trading cards is they must be traded, not sold. And they have to be two and a half inches by three and a half inches. Other than that, anything goes. You can use any medium, paint, fabric, embroidery, drawing, collage, you know, you name it, you can do it. So that's what we're doing today. I'm obviously going to do collage. Okay. So I have all these images. Let me just kind of put them in little piles. I'm going to keep all my words in one. I only cut out five words. Um, and then I have some more like focal images and I have some more like tinier images. This would be more like focal, focal, um, let's put that up there. We'll keep the holly together. Oh, these are tiny. Where's my other little stocking? I have another stocking somewhere. Where'd it go? Stocking, where are you? We have this, this. Where's my other stocking? Oh, no, those are my candy canes. Um, I'm missing a stocking. Where is it? Ah, Santa, you were hiding it? Rude. Okay, here we go. Um, I wanted to do one that was kind of like comfort. So I have the sweater, I have some blankies, and then I had, I thought I had the socks, but I just have the stockings. So I probably don't want that. What else did I have that was like comfort? Oh, the coffee. I thought that would be, maybe I'll go like this way. Maybe the blankets go behind. Blankets. Coffee or hot cocoa, whatever. Blankets will kind of be like my little accent piece back there. And then I thought maybe like a cozy sweater. And then I could put comfort and joy. Maybe I'll take the blankets out, keep the coffee, put a little sweater here. Comfort and joy. Do I want to put some little, I like that. Okay, so this is what we'll do. We'll do something to this effect. Okay, let me move these up just, just a wee bit. Okay, what do I want on the background? Maybe I'll go with like this black one. Okay, let's do that. Oh, and I found these. Here, let me take one out. These are paper bags from the Dollar Tree. I showed these yesterday um, on my community tab. And they're really cute little paper bags. So I cut up a bag because it's on both sides or a little sack. <laughs> a little sack. And look at all these. Look how cute these are. All of these are from one bag, you guys. One. And you get how many? Ten? You get ten in a pack. So yeah, double-sided. So I got all of these, so I could use these as well. Oh, you know what I should? I should put this behind her. Mrs. Claus Bake Shop. Oh, okay, I'll do that next. Okay, so let's put those aside. And glue. Let's use this. Yeah, we'll use the black. Okay, I'm going to just add some 
glue stick to my artist trading card here. Okay, and then I will turn this upside down. Okay, and where's my uh, little scrapey tool here? Let's just give this a nice little press, just gets the air out, smushes that glue down real nice. So it's not going anywhere because we don't want that. Now I will just trim it, save this piece over here and my backgrounds. Okay, so now we have this background. I always like to give it a press one more time after I cut around the edges because sometimes I feel like your scissors slightly lift it up a little bit. Okay, so first we want to put down the sweater right? And then we'll put the coffee mug. Okay, so let's glue the sweater. And we're gluing, we're gluing, we're gluing. Okay. There we go. Let's just kind of put her like the out. Cute. I'll put this like this. Oh my gosh, this is definitely comfort and joy. I'm pretending that there is an eggnog latte in this cup. <laughs> I want one so bad. Maybe I'll go to Starbucks today. Maybe I'll splurge for all the hard work I'm doing lately. I am just, this time of year is very, very overwhelming for me. Like my anxiety goes into overdrive. Um, it's just, it not only is it very busy and I think, um, that's one thing that really gets my anxiety going is I, I get very overwhelmed when there's lots of things to do or places to go. And, um, so I have to really work on that, but yeah, it's just this time of year gets, gets me a little, a little crazy. <laughs> Oh man, plus this is only my second Christmas without my dad. He passed away last year, so that's creeping back up on us. And I don't know, it's just, you know, you got grief is a crazy thing. And Okay, there we go. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, I can't even. Okay, so then I was going to put comfort and joy up here. Although now I kind of don't want to cover... Do I want to break this up? Let me round my corners first real quick here. You do not have to round your corners. Uh, I just want to put that out there. I just like to because I like the way it looks, but you don't have to. That is, This is just a personal preference. Okay. I really want comfort and cheer. Ooh, what's this? Little cup of cheer cafe. That's way too much on there. Okay, so I really want comfort and joy, but I kind of, let me cut it down a little smaller. Maybe like the border. Maybe that's what's getting me. It's taking up too much real estate, all the, the white that I left. So let's just kind of wiggle this around. Oh, somebody left me the nicest comment the other day. I think it was in my Facebook group. I'm like pretty sure, but they said that it really helped them to see me suggest doing this kind of wonky um, cutting out, like the how I kind of make these little waves. So she too struggled with making it perfect and it was making things not enjoyable for her. So she just started doing what I'm doing and now she feels a lot better about it. And I was like, that just makes me so happy to know that I could help somebody else that struggles with you know, perfectionism and, you know, what works for me may not work for you, but if it does work and I can give you that little bit of advice, it just, it makes me so happy. Okay. So I'm going to put comfort and joy. I like that a lot better. Okay. So let's put that on there. And you already know I have to break out my gold pen because I have to put sparkles on everything, especially during Christmas time. I just feel like it needs all 
all the things. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Nothing spells comfort and joy more than a cozy sweater, a warm cup cup of whatever. And actually, there's not even coffee in there, I just realized. <laughs> it's like candy and like whatever, but you know what I mean. Okay. Um, do I want to go around the edges? No, because it's already black, so that won't really do anything for me here, but I am going to go in with a metallic paint pen. This is a chrome marker, so that's what makes it really, really bright, and it's waterproof. So you can find these anywhere. You can find them on Amazon, um, a craft store. I found one um, at Hobby Lobby. This one I got from Timu. And it actually works really, really good. I love it. And it's definitely chrome. It is very bright, like sparkly with gold. So I really love it. And if you don't have one of these, you could also use a gel pen. You know, there's lots of sparkly gel pens out there. Um, also, what else? You could use stickles if you have stickles at home or, you know, you know what a sparkly pen looks like. You'll figure it out. Okay, that looks adorable. Let me show you up close. Look how cute that is. Can you see the gold? Oh my gosh, I can't even. So cute. Okay, let's do another one. I thought this would look really pretty. And then maybe, oh, I didn't cut out the middle of the robin there. Kind of thought about setting the robin partially on there. You know, like, so you could still see behind it a little bit. Okay, let's cut out that little piece, because that's going to bother me. I thought I had this all cut out. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so if we have like this. And then. How do I want to do that? Maybe something to that effect. Don't like that. Um, I'll go with this. I do like this with the robins. I feel like it just looks real nice. Okay, so let's glue the artist trading card. <sighs> Uh, Ta-da! <laughs> I could have just kept the green background too, but this is more fun. Oh, Zena's probably gonna come running in here. Had a lot of the like fighter jets going over. They do a lot of practice, and they fly over the house, and it's really loud. Zena's become so much more um, relaxed about them. But it usually is if I'm in the room with her, she's better. And she's not in here right this second. So we'll see how she does. Okay, so I need it to go this way. I want... I know it's technically supposed to go that way, but I wonder if I just kind of cover... Like, you can't really tell, can you? Oh, maybe I'll do something more like that. Let me see how that looks turned the other way, the way it's supposed to be. Oh, honestly, I kind of like it better this way anyways. Okay, so. Do I want to go around that with some brown to kind of let it pop? Or do I want to just keep this on green you know, and not put a background. You know what I could do as well? Bartholomew? By the way, I figured out where I got the Bartholomew thing from. Do you remember when I named this thing Bartholomew and I was asking you guys what movie that was from? I figured it out. <laughs> it's from my favorite movie, Emma. <laughs> Bartholomew? <laughs> That's what it's from. Okay. So, I cut this about the same size as the artist trading card. So, now I have two pieces. Now, I can put it like this. Let's see how this looks. 
Okay, not bad. But then I also have this piece that would go more like this. Get over there. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. That's the winner. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, let's glue this down first. Sometimes you just have to play and look at your options and one will seem better than the other. And if not, if they both look good to you, then they're both good enough to glue down. Just eeny, meeny, miny, mo it. Okay. Get that on there. Ooh, this is going to be so cute. Okay, let's cut this stuff off. Perfect. Okay, so then I have this up here. Or okay, I think I like. How did I have it? <laughs> now I don't remember. I did have this turned, so maybe I just need to put it back how I had it. I think I had it kind of like that. Yeah, that looks right to me. Okay. Let's glue it, and we're gluing. We're gluing. Um, like that. I mean, that works for me. I like to turn it over to press it down because that way I don't accidentally move the image or like rip the image as I'm gluing it down. Okay, and then we'll put our little birdie poo. I had to do a Robin because Robins make me think of my dad. Um, Robins are both important to me and Keely. They represent um, some people in her life that have passed as well. And so it was really special for both of us to have Robins in our, in our book that we collabed on. Um, okay. I think I'll, that's good. Okie dokie, artichokey. Cut the excess off. The excess, not the access. <laughs> that, oh, see? See? That's why I don't do that. I just... See? I'm so informative. I show you what not to do as well. <laughs> that's why I do it on the other side. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I mean, I don't love that I just did that. But I love that I can show you in person, like, as it happens, why I do what I do. Okay. Moving on. Okay, of course I get glue on the spot that doesn't have any paper on it. All right, do I want to add? I do. I want to add, I could put, no, I don't want that. I could put Mary and Bright. You know what? I might just leave it. Do I want a candy cane maybe? Where's the other candy cane? I mean, I could put a little gingerbread guy too. Hello. No. Want a candy cane? No. Okay. That's, that's not happening. I'm good. I like, I like that it's more simplistic. I am going to go around the edges in brown because I feel like that will just make it look really, really nice. And then I will probably go do some gold dots as well because, you know, I'm obsessed. And we're inking. Ooh, the brown looks real nice. Real nice. It's a real nice surprise, Clark. Christmas Vacation is my husband's favorite movie of all time. He watches it all throughout the year, as well as all the other National Lampoon's movies. It's his comfort. So, like, he gets home from work and he just puts it on in his man cave. And then, and on the weekends, he watches them. I mean, it's just always in the background. Okay, so that's super cute. So, let's add some gold dots because, <laughs> you know. Do, 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 do. And once you start, you like can't stop. I'm just warning you right now. So if you don't want to be obsessed, don't start. In the white spots, because I think that would be really pretty. Oh my gosh, it just kicks it up a notch, doesn't it? Eh. Clinger. Jeez, I had a boyfriend like you once. <laughs> okay. 
There we go. That is so simplistic and pretty. I absolutely love it. Look at that one. Ooh, that's so nice. All right, carefully. All right, let's do another one. All right, I need the bake shop girl. I need you in my life. I wanna put you over here. And then where was that cute? Actually, maybe I can use this as a background. Let's look. Let's look and see. Okay, so I wanted her kind of over here. And then I also had like a little cookie. Where was that little baking thing? Candy, oh, bake shop, Mrs. Claus bake shop. I like that. And then, you know what? I could even put, you know, this back here. No, I don't want to do that. Um, I do like the cookie. What else? What else could I put there? Something right here. Um, oh, put a little... That is a lot, but I kind of want to go for it. Should I? You know what? It's Christmas. I'm going for it. If it looks bad, pff, you know what? Like, I tried. Sometimes you just have to go with it. Take a chance. Okay. Mrs. Claus Bake Shop. Okay, you guys need to go bye-bye. Oops, okay. And then I have her. I'm not even gonna worry about cutting out that little piece since I'm using a white background. I really did like this like that though. Okay, so let's add that. Super cute. How did I have it? Like that, okay, that works. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And... Maybe I should have like, I'm just going crazy with this one. Should I have the gingerbread guy? I could have the gingerbread behind too. No, I kind of liked it. Okay, let's glue her down first and then I'll be able to tell. Okay. Oops, let's get this down to the bottom here. Perfect. Turning it over because I don't want to rip it. And because I'm anal, I have to cut it now because I have to be able to see what I'm doing. I have to visualize. I'm a visual person. Okay. That looks so cute already. Um, do I want to put... No. Do I want this little... Kind of looks cute. I kind of like it. I could just do a candy cane or something, you know. Should I do a candy cane? I feel like the candy cane kind of looks better. This is more subtle. I'm going to go with the candy cane. I mean, I like the gingerbread, but... <laughs> that makes me think of the Golden Girls. Well, speaking of his gingerbread alone, <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay. In terms of his gingerbread alone. Oh, man. Gosh, I love that show. Love it. Man, I thought I was passionate about that show. I've joined a couple, like, Facebook fan groups of the show. Holy smokes, man. <laughs> First of all, people get pretty like obsessive about it. I mean, I'm obsessive, don't get me wrong, but, and then like, it's so crazy because people, sh um, there's always conversations about like different things in the show that didn't make sense. Just like every TV show, like it's a show, it's not real life. So like they'll do things that don't really make sense, you know? Um, like they've changed Blanche's name several times. Um, like why does Dorothy go to her high school reunion in Florida when she grew up in New York? So it's just like different things like that, you know? Um, but it's pretty funny. Okay. I like that. That looks really good. And that was from the Dollar Tree. That is super cute. Okay. Do I add gold? Cause I've been adding it to all the others. Yes. Sorry. I have to do it. And you know what? I take back my sorry. I'm not sorry. I am glad I'm doing this. 
because you know why? It brings me joy. Okay, these dots are a little smaller now. My ink was a little heavy at first, so I like the tinier dots better, so I'm barely touching this. And this is a fine tip um, pen, too. That's why I got it, because I wanted the fine. Okay, that's good. I'm going a little ham. A few would have sufficed, but you know, where's the fun in that? Okay, look how cute that is. Oh, I love it. Okay, I love these paper bags. I might need to go and get a couple more. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, dokey. We'll just glue this right on here. And let's give it one more press. I always like to press it after I chop it. Okay, so we have Santa here. That would be cute. And then maybe these stockings up here. I could even cut the top off a little bit. Okay, and then maybe like, or I could take those off. So we have Santa, I could put some of his like toys down here. What else did I have like that? Or I could put a banner. Oh, I like the banner. The banner looks good. Okay, let's do that. So first I need to glue down my, my little meow meow. Let's see here. Where do I want this? Yeah, that works for me. Oh, do I, I should have a candy cane coming out. Okay, let's put a candy cane down. We need all the things, all of it. Put that maybe like so. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love it. Okay. Like so, oh my goodness. This is adorable. Oops. What am I doing? Come back down. Uh, am I ruining this? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. And then I really like the banner. I also have this banner that I cut out. Maybe this one will be better. I do like that. Love the candy cane. Is there anything else I wanted to add? Um, eh. And, oops. And we'll flip it over, press everything down, and let's trim off all this stuff. The ugly bits and bobs. There we go. Ooh, my stomach is rumbling. Okay, I want to round my corners now. Okay. La, 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 That's cute. Okay. What else did I have? No, that's way too big. Okay, let's put fa la 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 down. Boop. That's cute. That is so cute. Okay. Is there anything else I want to add on here? Could just add like a little sock. Ah. I have a little stocking right here too. Let's see if this looks ridiculous after I cut it. Oh no, that's not bad. Okay. All right, that is adorable. Do I wanna add, yes I do. Who are we kidding? Just a couple. That's her famous last words. Just a couple dots. Income 10,000. Okay, I put a few less on this one. Oh, that is too cute. Okay, let me clean up and I'll show you the ones that I did. 
All right, everyone, that is gonna conclude today's video. Here are all of the uh, artist trading cards that I made today using images from the book that Keely and I collabed on. In just a second here, I'll show you an up close picture of these artist trading cards, as well as some photos from my Facebook group of creations that people have made, artist trading cards, tags, cards, postcards, all that jazz using the images from this book. So stay tuned here and I'm gonna show you a little slideshow of some of the awesome creations that people have made using this book. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to like this video. It's a great way to support me and my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would absolutely love it if you stuck around. Don't forget to drink your water and have a fabulous day, my friends. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.